Hello and welcome to my little workshop. I'm going to be ensconced in here most of the day. Um, I just wanted to touch base with you um, because I sometimes get conscious that it looks like I'm posting the same stuff all the time and I'm really not. I'm just working on things that are very similar. Um, and things like this piece here especially that's taken lots and lots of time and that's never a complaint it's just an explanation of why you might see it all the time I think she's still doing that she's not finished that yet so I'm going to talk to you about this in a minute um, and then there's all this other stuff going on so I just wanted to just appraise you give you an overview of what's happening but the first thing is very exciting news I bought myself treated myself the two Zvarovsky crystal buttons now I'm using Zvarovsky crystals in my ledger class at the minute and I was on there replacing some, ordering some and I saw these and I thought oh, I've got to, I've just got to and they are, ex well I'm going to say they're expensive for buttons but do you know what, thinking about it I'm not even sure they are I only ordered two because I wanted to see them £1.68 for two so that makes them about 85p each, 80 something pence, you know, 84 pence each, doesn't it? So, I mean, it's not, because I've seen buttons at craft fairs, like two pound a button. So I don't even think it's that expensive, but now I've seen them, I'm going to be getting more. Just let me pull in. They're absolutely beautiful. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I sometimes buy things just because I like them, just to surround myself with lovely things. And I don't necessarily think there's anything wrong with that. So that's what the likes is two for one pound sixty-eight. So you can bet your Nelly, I'll be getting more of those. Um, and they've got different kinds as well. So I'm resisting going on there to look for more. So I thought I'd share that with you because the excitement is overwhelming. Um, overwhelming excitement. Absolutely beautiful. So don't ask me what I'm going to use them for. If I only ever have two, I'll probably never use them because I won't want to part with them. Right, so the rest of the stuff that's going on. So I'm in my little studio. It's like the middle of December. It's dark, torrential rain. It's incredibly horrible out there. Um, so this book, I'm making this paper-based book. You might remember recently that I um, made some cloth book, uh, paper books, sorry, sketchbooks. I embroidered the covers and sold them. Well, this is going to be a book that's made in the same manner as that. This is the latest piece, I did this yesterday, for one of the pages. And I've temporarily attached the pages, although they'll have to come apart for me to um, put them together in the final thing. But I'm thinking that might be nice going there. Thing is, I've made books before, artist books, and I crammed them with like frilly things and whites and lace and stuff. It's going to be quite difficult using this colour palette because I don't have any lace or anything this colour. So at the moment, I'm testing myself, trying to think of ideas. That's the other two pages there that aren't finished. Um, that's a bit similar, isn't it, I guess? But So I'm trying to test myself and think of ways to embellish white tissue to bring that colour in. Now, I could, don't get me wrong, I could get a piece of white tissue paper and just do a mass of French knots and things on it or beads, separate beads on it, but that would take an inordinate amount of time. Um, that I don't have and it's not really that I'm in a hurry but I'm anxious because I want it finished so that I can see if I appreciate it and if I love it as much as my crammed white ones so that's what's going on with that then this is going to be a cloth book now I've got I only got I was going to put more pieces together but I haven't had time um so but these that needs work that needs work they all need more work um, I'm going to make five of these, then I'm going to have to line them. And the lining won't be plain because I can't do that. I'm not a plain lining person. I'm going to have to do something to the lining. So I need to give that a little bit of thought as well. But I'm thinking that this one, now I was going to say it's going to open from the top. But then what do I do about that? So that's something else I have to think about now. Um, but there's a way, I've already thought of a way around that, so that's all right. So they'll be joined at the top. See, that's a drawstring there. That's through a channel. That isn't. That's attached to the, the work. That's a drawstring, but it's going that way, so it doesn't matter about the top. So it's just this one. 
But like I say, it's not a problem because I'll be able to work my way around that. So they'll be joined at the top with a header and it will open like this. So they need lined and they're going to need a cover as well. So I have to think about a cover for that. So all these things are ongoing and you know, they're taking me time. So it's really an explanation. I mean, you probably don't, you might not even want an explanation. You might think, Karen, we don't care. We don't think that. We don't think that you're showing us the same stuff all the time. We appreciate that embroidery things can take time. And if that's what you're working on, that's what you're working on. I'm also working on stuff for my classes, which I can't show you. So so this is a pieced, so it's like four pieces, no, three pieces of embroidery that I've joined together and that I lined with some embroidery on glaze and I started to work on the edges. So like here, I put that on the edge. Over here, I put these French knots on the edge. Here, I put the red beads on the edge. Um, no French knots, sorry, not beads. Um, and then I thought, well, my lining was wrecked then. My lining had all this work on it. So I thought, well, that's no good. I can't live with that. So I decided to line the lining. Do you remember? So I'm putting strips of vintage things on the back here. So every strip, I've actually surprised myself with how far I've come. I've say I've nearly finished. There's still probably a couple of nights work in this. But each bit of lining is attached on the inside with buttonhole lace, okay. There was a, I needed a deeper piece here because the workings from the front for some reason came down to here. So I put that bit on there. Over here there's a deeper piece. Now that was finished last night, I still need, I've only done one row buttonhole lace on there. So I need to do two. Now that was a, a, a tear in this piece of fabric. So I've repaired that there. Um, this end is done, buttonhole lace. So I need to do another row of buttonhole on doors there. Um, and then this one on the edge, I need to do all along this edge with buttonhole lace as I've done on this one. Well, on all the others. So, and then I've got pages ready made that are worked that are going to go on there. Now I'm going to have to give some consideration to my spine as well because because I've worked on the inside I don't want to lose the work. So I'm thinking my book pages will probably start there. It's much bigger than my book this, it's going to wrap round. So if the pages start there then that bit will probably just come to there and that bit will wrap around. So it might be that that bit wraps around like that and then this bit comes over to close it but I'll have to get the pages in first before I decide on that but like I say I don't want to lose that so if I put my spine there um, I think that's what's going to happen then when I open my book I'll always see that because I love that I love how it's like unexpected, like this thing there. So that's me just touching base. Um, I'm going to be missing a bit as well. I'm go My daughter's coming tomorrow. We're having a little bit of a get together. And then I'm going to London later this week for a few days. So I am going to be missing a bit. And then 10 days after I come back from London, I'm going away for a week. I'm going to Glastonbury. So, I mean, you'll probably all just forget about me and never come back, but hey ho, I'll still be here in my little shed. Um, working away, playing with all my toys, so, so there.